Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I was doing my makeup but I decided that I wanted to do a talk through of things I learned in 2019. So I hope you guys enjoy it. The power of the tongue is life and death. Those who love to talk will eat what it produces. Proverbs 18 verse 21. So 2019 is almost over. Oh my gosh, I know, right? And to think that like all the things that we've been through, all the things that we've experienced, like it's supposed to teach you a lesson, right? You're supposed to learn from it and grow from it. So I kind of want to dig into things that I learned. One of the things that really stood out to me, and I feel like this is a lesson that I should have learned long ago. Like clearly the friends that you have, they impact you and they impact your life and they impact your decisions. They impact the kind of person that you turn out to be. But one thing I'm not going into the 2020 with is allowing people, especially negative people, to speak into my life. Like, sometimes you have friends out there that, like, you know, they claim to want the best for you, but then the way they're speaking, it's not faith. They're not speaking through faith. They're speaking through what they might see, um, circumstances and things like that. Like, for instance, I used to always be late for school. In high school, bruh, I was always late. Always. No matter what. No matter what I tried. Always late, right? Um, and then it's to the point where like I would try to make plans with my friends and stuff. Like, oh yeah, we'll meet up before school or whatever the case may be. And then that same friend would be like, nah girl, you always late. Like you're gonna be late. I'm not no. We can meet up and be late together, but like you're not gonna be on time. And it's like that resonated with me into like my adult life because yeah, I was usually always late. Unless I really put in that effort and stuff, I was late a lot. Obviously, you have to put in that effort. You have to make it happen because faith without works is dead. So even if I say, oh, I have the faith that I can be on time early all the time and stuff, I went into work. So yeah, I was late. So I had to like just stop having that kind of mentality and not have those kind of people speak into my life. Like, yeah, you're always late, whatever the case may be. And it was to the point where I had to shut it down. Like, nah, no, I'm not always late. That's not a thing. And I had to put in that work and I had to pray about it. Like, why am I always late? What is it that I'm doing? Like, no matter what, I would plan and it's like something always came up. Something always deterred me from leaving the time that I wanted to leave. And like, I see that pattern trying to come back even now. And I'm like, nah, bro. That's not me. That's not who God called me to be, okay? Like, I'm on time. I'm punctual. I don't miss opportunities. And I'm just speaking that into existence, into my life, so that, you know, now with this job that I have, I've, have I ever been late? I've been late once, once. And that was, uh, like, a minute or two. Um, and this was, like, going into my second year at this job. So it wasn't even, like, my first year. My first year, on time or early, every single day. That friend is also not in my life, so... Oh, that's not the type of person that I am. I'm punctual. I'm not always late. I'm on time. I can do this. Like, just speaking positivity in my life allowed me to see, yes, this is possible. I can be on time all the time. By the way, I'm only wearing concealer, as y'all can see. I'm not even sure if I want to wear, make, like, foundation right now. Um, But, yeah, so that was one thing. But another thing it happened just once. It happened three times, I want to say. Three times. The same person twice. And then another person, right? Uh, the amount of dreams people had about me, well, if those dreams or visions came true, I should have been pregnant three times with uh, a baby daddy that can't take care of their kid. And I wasn't even sexually active. So why are you telling me this? What kind of vision is this? What are you talking about? And it's like, these are people that I trust. I really like held dearly to my heart and you don't know what someone else's relationship is with Christ so don't let people speak that into your life especially if you don't have the spirit of discernment and that's another thing that we need to pray for and make sure that we always have is the spirit of discernment because you never know what people are coming at you with you never mm, let me fix this real quick all right you never know where people are coming from you don't know what spirit is being used in that moment when they're talking to you like People can tell you all kinds of things, and depending on the relationship that you have with them, you might believe them. You might think it's true, but we have to be very, very careful. If 
it's not from God, if it's not confirmed that this is what God's plan is for you, take it with a grain of salt. The positive um, part of it where a prophet prophesied over me and I remember I was always, always, always praying to God about what is the next step that I'm going to take or what is it that you want me to do? Because I was really concerned about my future and I still am, you know? I'm nosy, so I'm like, okay, so God, what's next? So <laughs> for me, one thing I prayed about was going back to school. I really wanted to go back to school. I felt like getting my math, my bachelor's is like great and all. But one of my prayers, even before I went to undergrad, was, you know, when I go to school, um, um, I don't want to pay. I don't want to have to pay. <laughs> it's funny, like, looking back, like, that's what I always said. So my undergrad year, of course, I had financial aid. My parents weren't balling. So I had financial aid, but then I started working my uh, second, my third year. And I was making a decent amount of money, um, but I was working part-time. But it was enough to support myself. And plus, there was a point in my high, my undergrad career where I was working two jobs. So it was like full time or a little over full time, actually, um, 40 hours plus, sometimes 50, plus also being a full time student. And, and then I also had taken a year off, not a year off, a semester off. All those things factored in. And it was like, hey, I guess I got to take out a loan now because financial aid wasn't covering it. Um, it was too much on my parents to expect from them, you know, living under their roof and stuff. I was making money, so I had to take out a loan. But in the field that I'm currently working in, there's an option for loan forgiveness. So I'm like, okay, all right, 10 years in this field, I can see myself doing that. Or just public service in general, I can see myself doing that. Because I, like, that's why I'm here, to serve. And whether it's serving in my community, whether it's serving my family, whether it's serving at my church, like... I know that's why I'm here on this earth, to serve. So regardless, I'll be doing something in the field of like public service or like urban communities and things like that. So with that being said, fast forward, right? So I finished my undergrad year. I have this loan that I'm kind of sort of starting to pay back after six months um, and so on, right? But then <laughs> at this job, here comes this opportunity for me to go back to school fully paid off. I'm praying about it. I'm like, there's all these tests that I have to take. It's like a lot, but I'm like, I'm not opposed to it. And I took my GRE and, and all the other like certification exams and <laughs> passed and got accepted to school. And here I am in 2020 going to grad school. And I will, I'm a firm believer in what is meant for you will be yours. So sometimes as Christians, we get scared to share certain things um, because we were like, oh, I don't know if this person is positive. I don't know if this person's going to support me in this or whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, you know God is for you. No one can be against you. And that that's, that is in the word of God. And we always quote it, but we don't, do we actually believe it? I know that at the end of the day, this is what God had for me and this is mine. So no one else can take it. Like, He's called me to do this. So I'm grateful. I'm so excited. And yeah, I'm like excited. Okay, so that's one of my testimonies for the new year. I'm going to grad school.